what's up pool players welcome to the video so today i want to talk about how my teammate and i actually won over seven thousand dollars at a weekend tournament in ennis texas for those of you who don't know scotch doubles is essentially where you take turns within your turn when my teammate makes a ball i go after it. and when i make a ball my teammate goes after it. and so because of that scotch doubles is actually one of the most dreaded pool tournament events out there and due to the inability for players to like really establish a rhythm, they tend to get frustrated because they're not gonna run out as much as they're used to. I thought it was important that I would give you my top three tips for succeeding in Scotch Doubles tournaments. That way you can one day maybe win $7,000 too. Tip number one is to play with someone you actually know. And I find that this is important because communication is gonna be the difference between a win and a loss. Knowing how to communicate with your teammate is so important. Some players actually prefer a more aggressive style of communication and some players prefer a, prefer a more passive style of communication. And so what this means is some players are going to prefer it, prefer for you to tell them, hey man, you can't miss that ball. And some players are going to prefer for you to tell them, hey man, it's okay if you miss that ball. And it really depends on the situation, but knowing how and when to communicate that to your teammate. It's the difference between winning and losing. You have to acknowledge that you and your teammate are both gonna make mistakes during the event. And knowing how to communicate with your teammate when those mistakes happen is more important than the mistake itself. Sometimes you're gonna to have to tell your teammate to stay focused. And sometimes you're gonna to have to tell your teammate that they're playing too slow. And sometimes you're gonna to have to tell them that they're playing too fast. Sometimes you have to tell your teammate it's okay when they miss a ball and the only way for you to do that is to actually know the person you're playing with. Tip number two is to play together before the actual event. Usually that means trying to put you and your teammate in like some cheap action games ahead of time or you can play in inexpensive events like maybe a local tournament prior to playing in a bigger event so that way when you and your teammate get up there you're actually comfortable with each other. Uh, in our case, we had actually played together many times um, in uh, like small little action games prior to us playing. Uh, we also play league together regularly throughout the week. And I think playing together so often allowed us to know each other's games, know each other's strengths and weaknesses, know the difference of, hey, you're playing too fast or hey, you're playing too slow and communicate that message across. Next, you need to make sure you actually go out and practice the night before the event. So that's gonna help you relax, get some of those nerves out, start getting more comfortable with each other. So if you go to the pool hall, the actual pool hall where you're gonna be playing the event at, um, you can get a feel for the environment of the place. You can get a feel for the tables. Uh, in our case, we actually played at this pool hall called Sticks and Stones in Louisville, Texas, which is about an hour away from the pool hall that we played at. I'm gonna show you a clip and here's how it went.
Okay, so welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that clip. Uh, my last tip is to stay calm. Remember, you are going to make mistakes. Your teammate is going to make mistakes. Pressure is gonna mount as you get deeper into the tournament. Uh, don't get riled up when a miss happens. Acknowledge it for what it is and just move on. I think it's really, really important to stay positive, right? Not only stay calm, but stay positive. Just stay positive because positive thoughts can actually go further than anything else in the event. Important to recognize when you and your teammate are actually having negative thoughts because negative thoughts will lead to spiraling. You have to acknowledge that right away and just cut it out. Uh, remember, stay calm and most importantly, have fun. You're playing pool, there's nothing more fun than that, right? So to recap, my top three tips for scotch doubles are to play with someone you actually know, go ahead and practice with each other before the event, and then stay calm. Okay, if you follow these three tips, you too might win $7,000. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.